Hello. I thought, I guess you thought that I would be on my way to New Zealand by now, eh? Actually, I should be in New Zealand today, the 12th, or whatever date it is. I can't remember what day it is now. Anyway, first of all, before you start today, what you should do is on your own computers at home, you should sort your photographs out a little bit better. Now, what you need to do is get all the duplicates and delete the duplicates. What happens is when you download stuff off your camera, you, well, obviously you go out, you take, uh, say, 20 photos, come in, download them to your computer. Your computer will ask, do you want us to delete these photos? And nine times out of ten, people will say no, because they're frightened of losing them. But next time, they forget to delete them themselves, and I'll go out and take another 10 photos or 20 photos, come back, put them on the computer, and of course it's downloaded the first 20 as, uh, as well. So therefore those 20 are now duplicated, because they go into a different folder. Because on most cameras, they download them into a folder with today's date on them. So you can do this numerous times, like you know, God knows how many folders you've got with the same photo in. Okay, well there is a solution, a simple solution to this. Firstly, get all your photos or all your photo folders in the same place. Normally, my computer, my pictures. And within that thing, you then download a program off the internet called, what's it called? Uh, Duplicate Cleaner. It's a free download, and it goes like this. If I go onto Google, like so, find Google, and in here I'll just type in the uh, duplicate cleaner. See how over here we have several selections, so we'll go duplicate cleaner there, click on it, and then we go and find the one to download. I normally use the download CNET because they're normally the cleanest without any problems. Mind you, you do have Duplicate Cleaner's own site there, so that's a better one. So we'll click on that and see what happens. So in the meantime, it comes up. It's for Microsoft Windows 8, 7, Vista XP. Okay, you can buy it if you want, or you can simply download the, this one. You'd be surprised just how many duplicate documents, photos, music, and other files build up on your computer. Duplicate Cleaner can find them and help you safely remove them, saving space and simplifying your life. And that's exactly what it does. So you can find similar music or sort out your music. Okay, so we download it now by clicking on this. And you'll see how it wants you to buy it, but you don't have to. You can click on the download now, which is the Duplicate Cleaner there. Click on it. And do you want to run or save your program? You will say run. Okay, now I already have this program on my computer, so I'm not going to go through that. I'll close that. I'm now going to run that duplicate cleaner so you can see what it does. Windows 8 for me, so it's duplicate cleaner here. Click on duplicate cleaner, which will now take me back to my desktop and bring up Duplicate Cleaner. And it'll automatically come on the same size when you click on that. So I go ignore content, you'll see the same size has gone, disappears from it. But I do want the same content, so that comes up automatically. Because <coughs> same content will be the same size, of course. You can put a tick in for the same created date or same modified date. Again, one, two. So I'm looking for the same content with the same size, with the same created date and the same modified date. Okay, now the thing is where to look. Okay, I'll click on this one and it's just going to go looking in this one. In, so I'm going into pictures. I'm looking at Kathy there. So we'll go next, we'll go to uh, scan. So there's the scan nail button up there. You can click on that. And we'll see what happens. And as you see, it says no files have duplicates. <coughs> okay.
So we change the criteria now and take out the same created date and the same modified date. And we scan again. Now this time we should find stuff, but no we didn't. Ah oh, here we go this time. Close that duplicates as you can see behind. Close that. Now the thing is how do we know that they really are duplicates? Well what you do is you click on you see they're grouped. That's one group, the blue there, and the white is another group. See, now if I just click on one of them in the group, I won't choose to move it, I'll just clear, click that one there. I click that there and right click on it like this. We got image preview. It now shows me both images. So I can see that they are duplicates. Close it, go to another one. Image preview. Look and see if they're duplicates. If you go follow along on here, you'll see the ones in a file called Caffeine, and the ones in a file called Caffeine Taylor. Come down a bit more, you'll see there's sometimes there'll be three or four in the same group. There are three here. Image preview. See, all the same photo. Now, doesn't tell me how much the photo takes, but you can imagine it, like each one of those is about three or four megabytes. Uh, there, it tells you there, look, 1.08 megabytes. So that, to me, would be 3.24 3 megabytes. Or, oh, sorry, two of them. I get rid of two of them, so it would be 2.16 megabytes I've saved on my hard drive. Just for that, getting rid of those three. Again, image preview. Same thing. Go 1.43 megabytes. As you see. So all these are duplicates. Now, to get rid of them, after you have ascertained, of course, that they are duplicates. This is a movie, by the way, so you can't see it. You can't do a do the same thing with this. So you just have to guess on this one, whether it is a movie or not. Whether it is the same one or not. So it's called... It's got the same number. Chances are it's the same movie. Okay, so to get rid of them, what I would do now is I would go to this little button here. Which is selection system. Click on that. And it says mark. So it's got a little arrow by the side of it. So I click on mark. It says select by group, and I just hover over that, and it appears it's all but one file in each group. By clicking on that, now it takes every one except for leaves one free. So, in other words, if I now got rid of them or clicked on delete, it would now get rid of all those folders, leaving just one of each on the computer. See this one here, I'm not too sure about this one, so we'll just have a look at this one, image preview. But yes, look, four photos, all the same. So you see how much space is can be wasted on your computer? And if I just clicked on the delete button, it would obviously delete them and I right click on it tells you there look 6.79 gigabytes I'll save on this computer ah uh, look far removal I click on file removal there. Now this is important. Delete to the recycle bin. Delete files. But you can tell it to move them to a different folder. Now I've always set up a folder on here called deleted photos. So I'm on my desktop and remove file right now. Here I can move the copies folders. 
the folder is now to that folder, we hope. Desktop. And there they are. They have deleted pics. I click OK to that. And that is where all the photos I get rid of now will go to. They'll all go into that folder there. Remove empty folders all the and remove group orphans. What that means is once I've deleted the three there, this one now will be a group orphan. So that just gets removed from the list. So in other words, when it's finished, there should be nothing left on there. It should be blank. But we won't do it now. I'll do it uh, another day when I'm in front of you. Because I need to keep them there so that I can demonstrate it to you again. Duplicate folders means exactly that. Just duplicate folders. Like, you know, there are folders in here that have the same name or the same stuff in them. So you could do the same, you could, you, you could get rid of them if you wanted to, but I normally just don't worry too much about them. So we'll go back to scan criteria and close this. Yeah, close it, yeah, okay. And that'll be your lesson for today. So don't forget, duplicate cleaner, it's a freebie. And you can get rid of all your duplicates. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so enjoy.